see you're right on time. I love punctuality, so that's fantastic. Thank you for being here again. So, I prefer to do these meetings in person as opposed to on the computer, over the phone. It's just a little bit easier that way, and then you can tour the venue after. So, just give me one second. Yes. I see last time you had your tasting. How did it go? Okay, so let's just confirm out of the two options you tried what you liked better, okay? Okay. So, oh, you did try quite a few things, so that's great. So now you are allowed two appetizers. So you tried four. How did it go? Tasty, right? Good. Okay, so you tried the lobster ravioli and a Mornay sauce. The lakeside antipasto with the smoked salmon, shrimp, calamari, grilled and marinated vegetables. The spinach salad with caramelized pears, walnuts, blue cheese, smoked bacon, and a charred onion vinaigrette. I love that, yes. And you also had the ricotta filled fazzoletti in a pesto cream sauce. So you did have some vegetarian options in there as well. Okay, so what is your choice out of the two pastas, let's say? So the ravioli and the fazzoletti, which one did you like more? The ravioli, okay. And then the two salads, so the sort of seafood antipasto or the spinach salad. Did you like that better, the spinach? Okay, great. It's delicious. It's honestly incredible. And then, with that option, you can offer the ricotta filled fazzoletti to someone who has a vegetarian preference because it's just made with ricotta cheese. Fantastic. Okay, that's great. Now I see for your entree. So you did try the... Of course, every entree comes with seasonal vegetables and sides. But you did try the two tenderloins. So you had the beef tenderloin with a seared scallop and a lobster butter sauce. And then you also tried the beef tenderloin and snow crab with hollandaise and port reduction. So out of the two, which did you like better? Okay, yeah. I do love scallops myself. Okay, and then you also tried the vegetarian option, did you? Okay. Egg, sorry, eggplant, I apologize, yes. Okay, great. And then for dessert, you had the option of the mini trio platter, so the creme brulee chocolate mousse mini cheesecake. You also had the dolce de leche caramel mousse cheesecake. And you also tried the chocolate Godiva cheesecake. Out of the three, what was your favorite? The chocolate. Okay, great. No, this is, this is why we're meeting. Did you surprise yourself? You made some really great choices. Why we're here, the main selection. I'm just gonna actually remove this from my notebook here. Forgive my reach. Okay, now we are going to be reading. I printed this off so that I can read it to you, and then I can also have you take it home. So if you choose something with me and then you change your mind, you of course have about, I would say, a good month to change your mind on that, okay? So if you'd like to make any changes, but for now it's good that we go over this with each other. Okay. I believe all you have left is your late night. How exciting. Okay, so I'm just going to read you the selections and then you stop me if something sounds good and you want me to read further in detail, okay? Or I can simply read them all over to you once and then you ask me what's in. However you prefer. However you prefer. I'm at your leisure so we have all the time in the world today. Okay, great. So let's go over the savory late night stations. Now these stations, I suppose, are for either in the beginning, so if you want them with your appetizers, or if you'd want them at the end for late night, so you can do both, okay? And then ask me for pricing and I'll provide that for you as well. Yeah, but you should be budgeting, I would say, mostly 10 person, yeah. $10 a head. Some things, if they're like a specialty, seafood, antipasto, they could be up to $14 a head. So we'll work within your budget, of course. It's 
gonna be a great wedding, don't you worry, okay? Whatever your budget, don't you worry. We will make it fantastic. Okay, so allow me to read the selections for your cocktail hour or late night, but probably leaning more towards late night. Okay. Okay, so for our savory, we have a live brisket station. And now when I say live in front of each selection, it simply means that you'll have someone prepare the items for you live on the spot. So we have a specialty member of our team preparing it. So for example, for the live brisket station, it's a braised brisket. So they will be slicing this live. Perfect, okay. So we do have the live brisket station. We have a live wild mushroom risotto bar. Oh, you know what? I'll just read you them because it does make a difference. <laughs> okay. So with the live brisket station, it is a braised brisket. Apple, celery, slaw, sweet cornbread, and cipollini onion jus. Okay, next we have a live wild mushroom risotto bar. So this is a good vegetarian option. Fresh sautéed wild mushroom, slivers of parmigiano cheese, finished with truffle oil served in a parmigiano reggiano wheel. Good, right? Next we have a sushi bar. Okay, and if you're interested, I can go over the pieces of sushi, but typically it's about three pieces per person. Okay, then we have a live pad thai station with chicken, shrimp, bean sprouts, green onions, vegetables, peanuts, and your classic pad thai sauce. Okay, then we have an antipasto bar. So this is a little bit more expensive, but this has smoked salmon, marinated mussels, prosciutto, melon, grilled vegetables, plum tomatoes, bocconcini cheese, mini arancini, and bruschetta, an assortment of deli meats, including prosciutto, genoa salami, calabrese salami, an assortment of cheeses like Cavardi, asiago, cheddar, provolone, parmigiano, etc. Then if you'd like to add an antipasto and shrimp cocktail bar, you'd add $4 per person. Next we have a live El Mexicano station, so soft tortilla shells, crispy tacos, spiced beef, grilled chicken, sweet and hot peppers, charred onions, mushrooms, and a chipotle sauce. Okay, there's also a live fish taco bar. So live as we know, not live fish, but the live person. And this is with your breaded cod, pico de gallo lettuce, chipotle lime dressing, seared white tuna, pineapple salsa bear. Then we have a live paella bar with clams, mussels, Spanish arborio rice, langostino, and chorizo. Okay, we, we have quite a few pages, so bear that in mind. Yes. Okay. And I'll go over the next station. This is a live everything salmon station. So this has salmon wellington, salmon tartare, smoked salmon accompanied by crostini, capers, and cream cheese. So sort of your salmon and cream cheese vibe. Then we have a live soul food station with buttermilk fried chicken on a warm biscuit topped with combo gravy. Very popular for late night. Okay. Then we have a live oyster bar. So this is a little bit more expensive. This is about 17 per person. And this gives you about two pieces per person. Okay. For sure. Then we have a live prime rib carving station. So prime rib with Yorkshire pudding, garlic mashed potatoes, port wine jus served with horseradish chips. It can be a little bit similar to your menu selection, so maybe you'll want to go with something a little bit different, a little bit more fun. Okay. Then we have the live cold smoked Alberta beef strip loin. So again, a little bit similar. I, I don't necessarily. Breaking it up with something different is more fun, so... Okay, next, a traditional seafood station. So this is quite expensive. This is about almost $28 per person. But it comes with lobster tails, crab legs, etc. It's quite expensive, so... Yeah, but it sounds really good. We have a poutine station, so popular Canadian, is home-cut Yukon cold fries, traditional gravy, and Quebec white cheese curds. And this is a white cheddar cheese curd, nice and squeaky from Quebec. Quebec makes the best poutine, as you know. <laughs> poutine, poutine. Next is a live grilled cheese station, so a 
little bit nostalgic, also nice for late night, especially if you're catering towards a more vegetarian crowd. This has your assorted grilled cheese sandwiches with fresh brie aged cheddar on assorted sliced bread, accompanied by bacon strips and other garnishes. That way you can add the bacon strips if you want, or just forego that. Okay. Then we have a hot dog station, self-explanatory. <laughs> Then we have a sliders and fry bar, probably self-explanatory, but this is a homemade mini beef burger accompanied by grilled portobello mushrooms for a vegetarian option, which is nice. There's lots of cheese, gourmet mustards, jalapenos. Then you have your Yukon gold and sweet potato fries. Quite popular, yes. It's not a live station, though, I should warn you, so it will be served buffet style. Then we have chicken wings, so juicy and meaty chicken wings tossed in a buffalo-style wing sauce served with blue cheese dip, carrots, and celery sticks. So a lot of fun late-night stations for when you've been drinking and you truly just want a burger after the wedding, if you can't my drink. <laughs> okay, then we have something a little bit more, um, you know, inclusive of all sort of fun bistro style foods and that is the bistro bar it's a little bit more expensive at $15.50 a person plus tax but there are sliders, poutine and chicken wings however chicken wings at a wedding you might get your hands dirty it's completely up to you I'm here to help then we have the classic porchetta station popular for Italian weddings and things like that with assorted mushroom yeah precisely Yes, and there's of course also like your little pickled vegetables and your geyser buns and things like that, okay? That is for a minimum of 50 people, so if your wedding is smaller, okay. We have a baked brie station, yes, with assorted chutneys and jams. There is a cheese station, so imported domestic cheeses with wafers, crackers, crusty bread. Then there's a pulled pork station, so it's a barbecue pulled pork with creamy grits, bourbon jus, and a warm soft cornbread. There's also a hero carving station with mini pias, fresh tomatoes, red onions, and an assortment of sauces, dips, and salsas. That's quite fun too. Has that little Greek flair, if you will. Okay, then there's also a pierogi station. So if you want to go a little bit more Polish, there's some pan-seared pierogies, so potato, cheddar, potato, and onion, accompanied by onions, bacon, and sour cream. Okay. Then as well, we have a live tostada station. So this is another live station. The live stations can be a little bit more pricey, but there's not a huge difference in that, okay? So just let me know if you want any prices. Okay. And this is sort of a build-your-own tostada, so there's fish, Tuna ceviche, shredded chicken, pulled beef, grilled shrimp, guacamole, sour cream, lime, cilantro, shredded lettuce, pico de gallo, salsa verde, hot sauce. Very fun. I like live stations. I find them fun. There's a live Viet station, so Vietnamese sliders with taro fries. Okay. Yeah, definitely. All right. There's a live short rib station, so short ribs broccoli served in a martini glass. Like an homage to beef broccoli. Okay. Then there is the live seafood po'boy station. So a selection of fried cod, battered shrimp, or calamari strips with shredded cabbage, diced tomatoes, pickles, and tartar sauce. Okay. Then we have the short plate station. So pan-seared scallops with a part dip. Yes. Yes. If you do have your scallops in your main meal, then you can just precisely... This does sound good. So it has a parsnip puree, tomato jam, charred jalapeno, and crispy leek. Okay. Then we have an Eastern European station with beef goulash, potato latka, still creme served with a shot of red borscht. We do like to be very inclusive here, so we have an homage to many. Then there's a live everything spring roll station, so vegetable rolls, duck spring rolls, chicken spring rolls, even banana and Nutella spring rolls to add that sweet flair as well. Okay, that does sound good, right? 
almost done. The last one for the savory is the burrito bowl station. So this isn't live, but this is simply a build your own burrito bowl. So you can have pulled chicken, beef, or pork toppings with like a quinoa, lime rice, pico de gallo, salsa, etc. Okay, so which one sounded good to you? I actually really want your input here, okay? Mm -hmm. And, and, okay, let me just mark those off here. So we have this one. And you said the, okay, this one, that one, and you're thinking of as well. just knowing what you're interested in is good and then as I said we can narrow it down you have about four weeks so we should be good basically a month okay finally we have a sweet station so alternatively you can have a sweet station as your late night or you can have this with it as well similar pricing I would say price for about ten dollars a person typically yeah we do have some live stations it'll be fun to read so first things first, we have something called All About Pie. So this is a deconstructed pie station with assorted pie fillings like apple, pumpkin, pear, cranberry, chocolate, pecan, and apricot yogurt. And then served with a variety of flavored pie crust chips. It's really interesting and fun. Okay. Next we have a deep fried ice cream station with banana or strawberry flambe, whipped cream, Nutella, and a variety of fruit purees in a waffle bowl. Okay. Then we have a beignet station, sugar and cinnamon dusted donuts accompanied by spiced chocolate sauce, caramel, fruit coulis, and creme anglaise. Mmm. Then we have a live waffle station, so there's a few live stations to come. The first is a live waffle station with Belgian waffles, vanilla ice cream, seasonal berries, and fresh whipped cream. Very yummy. And that is live, so they'll be making them hot and fresh. Okay, next is a live crepe station. So the crepes are with a fresh fruit flambe, vanilla ice cream, and fresh whipped cream. You can have the fruit flambe, so like very very nice and chewy for a live station. Okay, next we have a live mini ice cream sandwich bar. So there's a selection of chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, soft and chewy mini chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, oatmeal raisin cookies, assorted sprinkles, chocolate chips to roll your ice cream in even, so you're essentially making your own little ice cream sandwich. Okay. Next we have a beaver tails. They're a little bit more pricey, but this is your classic beaver tail pastry prepared a la minute. So essentially it is live and served piping hot, topped with hot butter and your choice of delectable flavors. But this is based on a minimum of 200 guests. So if you're under, if your wedding is smaller, yeah, but I'll see what we can do, okay? Okay. Next we have the covert combination of traditional fresh fruit, seasonal berries, candy garnishes accompanied by warm flowing caramel and covered with dark chocolate served with a French vanilla ice cream in a Belgian waffle cup. Quite luxurious. Then we have a vintage popcorn cart. Okay, so you just essentially pay for the cart and there's an attendant to serve you popcorn if you'd like. If that's fun. Okay. Yes. And then we have a dual chocolate fountain, so si similar, but this is a little bit different, and this is just a continuous flowing Belgian chocolate with Belgian and white chocolate accompanied by marshmallow skewers, rice krispies, etc. This will serve up to 200 guests. Typically, there's a price per person that you can work with there, okay? Okay. As well, we have Tiny Tom's Donuts. This might not necessarily but they give you a lot of donuts, so they give you 120 dozen donuts. That is 1,440 donuts. And then there's four delicious flavors, including cinnamon, icing, sugar, apple and cinnamon, and chocolate. I really like the 
um, icing sugar as well as the cinnamon. And this has a tiny tome um, uniformed professional to serve you. Okay, but it is quite a lot. The cost can be a little bit high on that one just because they have like a set number of donuts. Alright, <laughs> then we have a sweet and savory poutine station. So this can be, you know, for your late night, you can do a combination. So this says you've got cold fries, onion rings, sweet potato fries that include chili, braised short ribs, tomatoes, green onions, etc. Cheddar cheese, bacon bits. And then there's also sweet, so it's funnel cake fries with micro marshmallows, icing sugar, and a Nutella gravy. Sort of like a sweet and savory poutine station, if you will. As the name says. <laughs> so that would probably be the last savory you'll be hearing about going on with the sweet. There's a pastry table, so there's assorted pastries including squares, tarts, cupcakes, mini cheesecakes. And you can then add a little bit on top of that to then add fresh fruit, so for an additional fee. Then there's an ice cream sundae bar station, so vanilla and chocolate ice cream, assorted toppings, etc. There's a candy bar station, so they give you various candy bars, chocolate bars, and candies, and things like that. Okay. Then there's a hot fresh donut station, so it's sugar dusted fresh donuts with chocolate and caramel sauce. Okay, then there's an ooh la station, so this has a variety of pastries including cheesecake, lollipops, creme brulee, macarons, petite fours, chocolate dipped strawberries, and almond bark. And then finally, there's a s'more station, so build your own from graham crackers, praline wafers, and peanut butter crisps with chocolate bars, chips, and chocolate sauces, marshmallow cream, and assorted candy toppings. So which one of those sounded the of the sweet stations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And... And then maybe as well. Okay, so let me just go back. Just marking that off. I'll be hearing from you, okay?